In this presentation, we're going to look at the Pareto distribution. So this is the Pareto type two distribution, and this is used quite a lot in actuarial sciences and financial maths. A portfolio of crop insurance has claims distributed as Pareto type two. Just to clarify that, also known as the Lomax distribution, uh, with mean 500 and standard deviation 1,500. In the following harvest season, 200 claims are expected, with claims being assumed, with claims uh, being assumed to be occurring according to a Poisson process. Okay, so we have a combination of the Pareto distribution and a Poisson process. So this is a compound pro uh, Poisson process. To limit, it, to limit its losses, the insurer decides to introduce a policy excess of $100. Calculate the percentage reduction in the mean aggregate claims to the insurer following the introduction of this policy excess. Okay, so this is a co common example of a question that would occur with the Pareto distribution. It's used quite a lot in actuarial sciences and also it has a very neat mathematical structure for dealing with these expected values over a certain threshold okay uh, which pops up quite a lot in exams without policy access the mean and variances of the claims are as following so we expect 200 claims okay and on average these claims cost 500 us dollar 500 dollars so essentially we are expecting to be paying out 100,000 according to this you know model that could be really probably more like 100 million or something like that but just keep the number simple okay the next thing we're going to do is determine the parameters of the Pareto distribution the Pareto type 2 distribution correctly using the method of moments okay we are told the mean and we are told the standard deviation and from that we can determine the variance okay so we have the mean, and the mean is the expected value of x, which is lambda over alpha minus 1. The variance of x, which is the, squ the square of the standard deviation, which we're told, is alpha times lambda squared divided by alpha minus 1 squared times alpha minus 2. Now, the method of moments is a very uh, simple and straightforward mechanism for deducing the parameters, getting individual values for alpha and lambda. So, for example, if we were to square the get the expected value, square the expected value, we get lambda squared over alpha minus one squared. Okay, both of those are part of the variance expression. Okay, so if we divide the variance by the the square of the mean, we are left with alpha minus divided by alpha minus two. Okay, and we have, uh, we know that that is the variance squared is uh, 1,500 squared. The mean is 500 squared. So 1,500 squared divided by 500 squared is simply 9. So alpha divided by alpha minus 2 is equal to 9. And what does that mean? Alpha is 2.25. And necessarily because using the formula for the mean or rearranging the formula for the mean, which we know to be 500, that means that uh, a, a, a lambda is 625. So we have the parameters here for the Pareto distribution. Okay. So um, the cost of the distribution. So essentially what we're going to do now is say the expected value of threshold T. Okay. So essentially what we're doing here is introducing a policy access. The insurer does not pay out um, unless the threshold is over 100, okay? And you, if the, tr the cost of the claim is over 100, so you don't get anything, you know. But if it is over 100, you only get the difference uh, the, the, uh, over 100. So if you, the claim is 120, you only get 20, okay? If the claim is 200, you pay the first hundred yourself and then the, the insurer will give you the other 100 okay so this is what we have to cal calculate this is the um the adjusted or when we uh, the adjusted claim value when we reduce the mean or reduce the claim by 100 euros or 100 us dollars now 
This is a very important formula. Now, I've actually just uh, written it out and stated it here very clearly. Okay. So, this is the probability density function for the Pareto distribution. Okay. Now, the expected value of x minus t is this expression here. So it is the integral of x minus t uh, times the probability density function and with respect to dx. Uh, we evaluate it from this integral as a definite integral over the threshold up to infinity. Okay. Now, the when you work that out, it's a bit of, of a complicated process it's involving lots of simple steps. So it just takes a while to actually deduce it. But essentially, that will work out to be alpha times lambda to the power of alpha divided by alpha, uh, alpha minus 1 times lambda plus x to the power of alpha minus 1. Now, I'm going to sort of give it here as a de this definition here, partly just to save time. But this does come up quite a lot in these Pareto type 2 questions, being able to show that this is equal to this. Uh, sometimes you might actually be able to state it, for example, it's sort of given to you here or given to you in the formula. Okay, so uh, just for the sake of brevity, I'm actually just going to give it here. So the expected value of x uh, bar, x, uh, the adjusted x, or let's call it, is this expression here, the one I just called out. When we add in the values, 625 and i just spotted something and just check it there i should actually have 2.25 times 625 to the power of 2.25 so i just forgot the al alpha there in the denominator okay anyway let's continue so a bit of calculator work you should have uh 415.3341 that's the expected value of the threshold Okay, now compound Poisson process. So the expected value of the sums, okay, uh, of the total aggregate sum is the new mean, okay, uh, times the expected number under the, of the expected number of cases, okay. So, um, the new mean is 415, we expect 200 cases, so that works out to be 83,066.81. That's the cost if we introduce that uh, excess. Okay, so what's the reduction? It's 100,000 minus 83,000 divided by 1,000, so there's a reduction of 16.93%. So that's it. Uh, not so much in the compound Poisson process, but you should know that stuff. Okay. Uh, but this was the key thing here. Okay. So in other videos, I'll actually make more of, uh, be very explicit about how I calculate that. Because it is very important with regard to the Pareto distribution. All right, leave it there.